Hi everyone! Welcome back to another video, or if you're new, I'm so glad to have you here. And so today's video I was hoping to do a bit of a Q&A. Now, I don't have a lot of questions from you, my viewers, um, so I've kind of cheated a little bit and found some sample questions. But the reason I thought I would do this is that um, it's... Well, there's two reasons really. Firstly, it's been a very busy season for us, being near Christmas. I've not really had the energy to go out of the house much and do um, sightseeing. We've had a lot of um, social events on, but I still really wanted to um, connect with you and so I just thought I would make a get to know you video because obviously I can do that at home. So that's one reason. And the other is that I've been running this YouTube channel for a little while now and I haven't actually spent much time talking about myself or I suppose allowing you guys to get to know me very much so um, now's your chance. So without any further ado let's get on to the questions. Where are you from and are you proud of it? Well I've lived in Western Australia all of my life and I'm not necessarily sure that I'm proud of it. It just happens to be where I live. Do you have any children and how many? Yes I do have children. I have two but I do try to keep my family life and my online life quite separate so that's why you probably won't see them in very many videos. Are you married or single and why? Um, why? That's a hard one. Um, so I do obviously have a partner. Um, yes, I'm married and I'm married to Durham. He is a very lovely man and maybe if you're interested I could do a video on how we met. So let me know in the comments if you do want to hear one of those kind of videos. And why? Ooh, um, because I fell in love? <laughs> I don't know. Why would I be single if I could be married? Do you love playing any sports or just watching it? Actually, I probably don't really enjoy either. I, I feel like I potentially could be good at sport or I could potentially enjoy it. But growing up, I didn't really have that kind of... Um, I didn't really have those opportunities to get involved in sport. I didn't actually even do PE in school, so I really struggle with the rules of the game. Uh, so unfortunately, no, no sports for me. What is your fondest childhood memory? Hmm, I can think of a few, so it um, might be hard to pick just one. I do remember my mum helping me to make furniture for my doll's house when I was little. She was always really busy, but she did um, particularly set aside the time to help me make some furniture for my doll's house and it was quite an involved task. So that was a fond memory. I also remember my dad teaching me how to fly a kite and that was special. I got one for my birthday and he took me to the park just around the corner and uh, taught me how to fly a kite. So those are two, two very fond memories. Do you want to have a business? I have run a piano teaching business before actually. There are downsides to working, to running a small business, but I've learned a fair bit and I probably would do it again. I would just make some changes in how I set it up and that sort of thing. If you love snakes, which one is your favourite? I do not love snakes. I could tell you a snake story if you want. When I was a kid, I used to live in um, like a kind of rural setting and we came across a lot of tiger snakes and if you're not familiar with tiger snakes They are very venomous. There was this one day where we'd made like a kind of teepee out of Sticks and leaves and, and so we were showing a visitor and we so I was like running on ahead me like come over here And see what we've made and my brother had helped me make the teepee and so he was wanting to show it as well and there was like this clearing in the grass where we'd made it and there was a sort of like a thin row of long grasses which separated the teepee area from everywhere else and I jumped over the row of grasses and I just stopped short because I suddenly saw there was a tiger snake and I just spun around pelted back the other way and unfortunately I ran straight into my brother and we we're like smack and he fell over I didn't even realize because I was too busy getting out of there but he just fell over and landed face, like on his stomach in front of the, the snake and was like staring at the snake in the face and <laughs> poor guy is such a such a miracle he didn't get bitten um yeah so snakes not my favorite do you love music which genre is your favorite yes i do love music but i have a kind of a, like a love hate relationship with music so it's complicated um, and which genre is my favourite? Oh, 
I think those people who know me in person would probably be expecting me to say that I love classical music the most, but I'm not really sure that that's true. I do love classical music to some extent, but I'm definitely not obsessed with it. I do like pop as well. I don't really, I probably the only genre that I don't really enjoy that much in large amounts is rock music. I could pick, I could pick a least favourite, so there you go. How tall are you? Have you dreamed of being taller? Okay, so I would say I'm average to slightly taller than average. I think last time I measured I would have been about 175 centimetres. And I definitely don't want to be taller because I feel like I'm taller than a lot of people already. And I also wish I could wear high heels a bit more. You know, they're so elegant and so girly, but I'm just already really tall and I would just be towering above everybody even more. So that's kind of lame. Do you have a fear of anything? If it's not a secret, please tell us what you fear the most. Ooh. I don't think I have any wild phobias. Or maybe I would say bees and wasps. Wasps are bad too. Probably even more. I'm probably more nervous about wasps than I am about bees. Yeah. I just don't like them. Where do you want to travel? Oh, this is a fun one. Um, I... I did enjoy travelling through England and I feel like there's so much more to see there than we had time for. But um, I would actually like to travel to Paris and Germany. I've been to the Netherlands already and that was great. I'd like to go to South America actually. I think it's just a part of the world which is a fascinating place. And Japan. I actually would like to go to Japan as well because... I think that they have a very fascinating culture. I'm just a little bit worried that I would be like sticking out like a sore thumb because being a bit taller and being blonde, like, I just, I would not blend in whatsoever. So I'm slightly nervous about going there. Do you consider yourself to be an extrovert or an introvert? I'm definitely an introvert because I do enjoy a little bit of company, but a lot of company is very exhausting for me. So that's all the questions that I'm going to answer today. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video.